Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. I look over my necklace right here. My mom gave me. Um, yeah, I had it on, but it keeps getting caught on the table, so I just set it up there. Um, this is going to be actually for the sign of Aquarius, so we're just going to see what we get. Just see what the energy is. Uh, yeah. Aquarius. What what do they need to know? You're gonna have a decision crossing your path. These might be sleight of hand. Or not. Okay. You're gonna have a decision. Um, there's gonna be some form of communication coming in. Okay, let's see. If you've been, it's it's like if you've been holding on, feeling like you've having to hold on to money. There's something coming, something coming. What's coming? Okay. Something is not, um, you know, the sun card uprights happiness, happy, happy news, happy um, time. Enjoyment, and then we got the King of Swords here. But this someone, I feel like um, I hate to say it, but I feel like someone's going to get some form of bad news. Um, now that's the Knave of Chalices, you know, Knave of Cups. <sighs> what? Um, this could be some some form of news about health. Um, I feel like that someone's maybe been searching for answers about something. And it's like they may get some news and they may feel like it's disheartening. Um, now this four of pentacles is here. And I need to look in on that. There's going to be a decision that needs to be made around that news that comes in. Four of pentacles. Clarify. Please, Spirit. Why is the four of pentacles here? Okay, if you've been, um, okay, it's like you're going to receive some form of news that may, may put you in sort of a bad, bad sense of, uh, feeling. Um, it could have to do something to do with health. It could. It doesn't have to. It could have something to do with, um, a decision. Because that's the king of swords, you know, about thought and decision making and intellect. And it could really have you looking for something, or you've either done been looking for something. It's going to be different for different people. Um, for someone, this definitely has to do with health issue, and you're going to get some form of news or some form of information. Um, and it, I'll be honest with you. It's a possibility that it could, you know, as far as holding on to that money, it could affect you, your money. It could affect your pocket big time. Um, whatever this is for whoever that is. But I feel like that um, your prayers are going to be answered. Something's going to come, come it may be a person actually with this king of pentacles that's going to help balance things um there may be a gift so you know whatever's going on here you may be gifted but you're going to have to make a decision and that decision could be about you know do you accept this gift now for some of you this is not health related for some of you um this is like making a decision it's like you know you may have had to hold on to money in the past and it's like you're there's some form of decision that's going to have to be made and it may make you feel like you're not very happy at the moment and um, 
But it's really a, it's like it's a gift in disguise. So this is, this is an odd reading. It really is. But it's going to be something that really balances things out. It may not seem like a gift in disguise at, at the time. But it's like, um, really it's a, a gift. So, um, there's a possibility that, you know, someone that you thought something might have been going to go forward with is not going to pan out or such. And, you know, sometimes that can be a gift. You know, if they're not meant for you. Okay. Can you tell us more? I'm sorry about that dog barking. Can you tell us more? Spirit. May we know any more about this? Okay, whatever it is that you make your decision about and it feels like there's going to be some form of um, something coming into you, communication, um, they may not be very truthful. So, I feel like um, don't go flipping out. Now, that's for those of you it feels like that this is not health related and it's like somebody some news comes in it's affecting your money or something and it just puts you in a bad frame of mind um there may be some form of not truthfulness to it page of swords reversed why is the page of swords reversed queen of pentacles see we got the king of pentacles there So someone not telling you the truth. Something to do with money. Okay, there we go. Justice reversed. This could have to do with someone that you've went to court with or had a relationship with or had some sort of dealings with where... Um, now this could be universal law as well, but it's like karma. Um, it's reversed. Because it's like this person, it's, it's like they're lying about something. Or they're not being truthful. Because we've got the uh, Page of Swords reversed. And it could have to do with something that has to do with court. I'm just going to be honest with you. And this could be a relationship. This could be a marriage. Or a um, relationship that's ending. See, it's almost like they're switching it up. This is going to be for many different people, I'm telling you. I'll take away what's for you, though, because, I mean, it can be just a very small portion of the reading be for you. There's the, there's going to be a decision um, that you have to make. Something Someone's not going to be very happy. Um, and, you know, like I said, for someone, there could be health problems. And you could get that um, news of that. But there could also be legalities. And some, someone's not being honest about something. It's almost like they're, um, see, I keep getting drawn to that money. Where on this one, I'm not as drawn to it. The king. Okay. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Aquarius? Sometimes memories are healing. Uh, someone's carrying a lot of burden, but they're keeping themselves in this mindset. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's, it's almost like someone's trying to hang on to someone, and it's just they don't want you to hang on to them. It's that type of feeling. Or either, you know, they're trying to hang on to you, and you don't want them to hang on to you. It's that type of feeling. like Almost like trying to... Um, save something that's dying you know it's it's like it's ending and it's like someone just doesn't want to accept it yeah it's 
almost like someone's give up, given up on um, trying and then the other person hasn't. Someone, it's, it's like someone's done. It's like the queen of uh, pentacles, it feels like, is done. And then we've got the king down here that um, it's like, you know, praying and trying to bring balance to the situation, maybe gifting the other person and uh, really reminiscing and thinking about the past, trying to make the right decisions. Wow. You're not giving me much on this either. I'm sorry. I don't look like I'm going to get very much. This is rather confusing too, so some of you may get confused, but they just threw out like three cards right there. See, it's, it's like this is separate, and somebody's watching the other. Um, someone left someone behind, and it's, you know, the Knight of Pentacles here, but it's like they only want to offer very little. So I feel like that um, something's ended here, or it's going to end. Someone doesn't want to accept it. Um, the other person, you know, they're basically done. Um, there may be some, some untruthfulness about legalities. So you need to, um, if you're going through some sort of court thing or something with a lawyer or the law, you need to talk with them. Not trust your, you know, the other person. I'm just going to be honest with you because that page of swords is reversed. Any more? Yeah, somebody poured out their cup. They, they're done. I'm telling you, I'm drawn to that cup of it being poured out over there. They're done. It's, it's like, see, it, it, this, this, oh, this was a relationship. And it's like it was, there was so many differences. So many differences. Um, but someone feels like this, their, this is their soulmate. They feel like it's their soulmate. <sighs> the other person, though, they're done. Um, this could be twin flame or such. This, like I said, it could be a marriage or a long relationship. There's hair font thrown out again. Someone wants to heal this. They want to bring happiness to this. Um, the other person, you know, see, it's like one person wants that four wands. They want that happiness. They want to be together. And then the other person, they want their own being alone, basically, is what I'm getting. So this is, um, it's almost like someone, um, they think that they're, they think someone's their, um, soulmate, but I, I honestly feel like they're not. I feel like this has been a, um, it's, it's like we got one person, this person up here that's taking on the Queen of Pentacles, that energy does not feel good. It feels deceptive. It feels like, um, draining. Um, and see, then we have this card right here. <laughs> so this, this feels like a drama field relationship. Um, that's never balanced. It's, it's like somebody gives and, and, and then the other takes. They just never, you know, balance the scales. It's that type of feeling. Yeah, see right here, they're showing it. Okay. Our king, see, we had our king of swords here. Well, this right here, what's going on here, could be making this person sick, making them feel sick, because they're, this is stressful. They don't want to accept it. Um, but strength is here, because it's like they need to um, heal what needs to be healed, and they need to see. They're not seeing the truth. They're not seeing things for what they are with this person. They're just not seeing it with the moon card. It's like they're seeing what they want to see. Um, see, it's like our king of swords needs to do some research 
and do some uh, really figuring out things. And I'm not, I'm not just talking, I'm talking about they need to research about this person, but they also need to research about whatever this legalities is. Um, they need to do their thing, and they need to start getting the ball rolling for themselves with the chariot. Because what they're dealing with, whoever they're dealing with, has got some badness attached to them. Now, they could be dealing with a Capricorn, but for some of them, this is something that is deceptive. Now, for some of you, though, I'm going to tell you, um, there's also a passion here that this person feels so strongly to this other person. But this this feels like it's it's done. It feels like it's done. It feels like that someone's made the decision to just move away from it. And it's ended. It's got that feel to it. Um, so really you need to think about that. Think about yourself and what you're going through, I feel like. Um, yeah, let me take, um, let me take one affirmation. May I have one? May I have, may I please have one? One? Well, maybe not. Maybe one of these. May I have one? Huh. May I have one? Oh, mercy. I think they're done with you here. I think they're not even going to give us anything more if, if they don't give me one of these. It's kind of like... Oh, this is something that's got a very strong feel to it. Um, going to be a decision to make, but you need to be able to see things clearly. Don't you don't look through the, the light of the moon. Don't see, in other words, don't don't look through those rose colored glasses. Don't see what you want to see. Look within. Read between the lines. Look at the little fine print. If you're signing anything, look at the fine print. Even if you're not signing anything. Look at the fine print. Uh, read the fine print. And read behind, read between the lines. I'm telling you. Um, that's something you need to do on this. And if you... Um, this is... this Yeah, this ain't going to be for everybody. But I feel like it'll be for several. Um, it's just according, you know. But if you like the content that I create, um, you like the readings that Spirit allows me to share, give them a thumbs up. And please do subscribe. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And much light and love to you. Until next time. Bye.